STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Now hold on just a second, don't skip over this video yet. I know that STEM probably makes you think of school and homework and not much that you like. It may seem pointless if you're not interested in a STEM career. But what if I told you that you use STEM every day? That's right. In fact, you're using STEM right now. I use the technology of my laptop to record this video. It was uploaded, and now you're watching it on your device. That's STEM. Now let me give you a few more examples of how you use science, technology, engineering, and math every single day. First is science. It doesn't have to be someone dressed in a lab coat and goggles, huddled over beakers filled with colorful liquids. Whether you realize it or not, science is much more than that. Sure, it can often take place in a lab, but science finds its way to you. It's in the burning of fuel to run your vehicle, or how your food cooks and ingredients combine. Science makes up everything in our world, including you. Did you ever wonder how your body gets energy from food? Or why you get tired when you're running? Why do my grandpa's knees hurt when it gets cold? Or even, why does it get cold? These questions can relate back to biology and meteorology, just two of the countless focuses of science. Next is technology. This one's pretty easy to see. Computers are part of almost anything we do nowadays, especially now that we are staying home and working online. Technology isn't limited to smartphones, tablets, and laptops, though. It can be found in any room of your house. Your blender is a form of technology. Your washing machine and dryer. Technology can be as simple as the light-up toy your little sibling plays with. These all have some form of technological hardware and or software used to make them run, and they are just a few examples. The E in STEM is engineering. This can be even more commonly found than technology, believe it or not. Engineering is used to design and hold up the roof over your head. It's in the blueprints that form the most basic of buildings and vehicles, chairs, tables, and bookshelves, oh my! Engineering is found in the most complex skyscrapers lined up in the Dallas skyline, and it's in the stool that you use to reach the cookie jar on the top shelf. It's basic wheels and ramps, or a complex system of conveyor belts lined up to move luggage in an airport. Engineering is finding a solution for a problem. It's using the resources available to create an answer. The final part of STEM is math. Now hang with me just a little longer. You've made it this far. Please. Thank you. Now, I'm one of those rare people who loves math. I know it can be frustrating, but it's very useful. Now, when I say math, that doesn't have to mean equations such as Greg has four apples, his train is 12 minutes late, now calculate the mass of the sun for me. It's as simple as 2 plus 2 equals... Well, it equals something. When you're cooking, you use math to convert your measurements. You use it to figure how long a trip to town will take based on each of your stops. Math is very important to life. It can be found in every other aspect of STEM and non-STEM subjects. You need it to figure out how much paint it will take to cover your walls or to make a budget and manage your spending habits. Math is a universal language that branches through every part of life. All of this is to say, even if you think you have no interest in STEM in any way, I think you're wrong. When you look at what you do like, you'll find STEM threaded throughout it. The subject of art forms is often used as a counter to STEM, but they have much more in common than may meet the eye. Each part of STEM can be considered an art in and of itself, and various types of traditional art contain tons of STEM concepts. Music rhythms are math. as you count out each beat and time them to make the no notes work together. Music is made and stored using various technologies. We found ways to engineer storage devices and shrink files so that we can carry thousands of songs in our pockets. The science of sound itself has been studied for hundreds of years to further improve how we use it. Drawing and painting materials have, studied, have been studied to improve their formulas, to make them brighter and longer lasting or produce a greater variety of shades. 
The way images are produced uses a lot of math and concepts of science to connect lines and form shapes. In my opinion, art and STEM are two sides of the same coin. Overall, STEM can be found everywhere in the world around you. It's in what you ate for breakfast, how fast your car runs, and the painting hanging just a few degrees crookedly on your wall. STEM is an integral part of our lives, and taking a few seconds to see it could lead you to a deeper interest. So before you blow off the next STEM workshop or pass on an opportunity because you don't do STEM, just think, maybe you do, and you don't even realize it. Maybe you're really a huge STEM nerd. Before I end this video, I have one more thing to say, simply because I am a huge STEM nerd. Plus, it gives me a chance to use one of my favorite math jokes and combine it with an awesome series. Come to the STEM side. We have pie.